Hello and welcome to today's demonstration of Tricenis Tosca. Today we will be doing some basic automation around a web application. Here is our application. It is a request for a quote of automobile insurance. To start off, we will build a technical model of the application. I would do that by opening Tosca and going to the Modules tab, select a folder, and then scan the application via our desktop scan. Once the X scan opens, we simply choose the application and then select the controls from the application that we would like to add to our model. So here I will go through and just choose all of the various fields. As you can see, Tosca has verified that every single object is uniquely identifiable. This is advantageous when you have dynamic objects that can change. Tosca ensures that even in those scenarios, the objects can be identified consistently. At this point, we would click Finish the Screen. Tosca saves the module, and we're now ready to go. Here is our newly created module. We get a screenshot of the application, as well as all of the different objects that we have chosen. As you can see in this folder, I have some other modules which I have created. I'm simply going to drag the Enter Vehicle one to the very top. I will simply choose all of the modules, drag them, and drop them on a folder in my test case section in Tosca. And I now have a test case. I will rename it. Now, as you can see, I have all of these steps ready to be automated. So let's start by adding data. I'm simply going to expand all of the steps. And here you can see that this is a drop down combo object. So by clicking on the arrow, I can see all of the objects represented in that drop down combo. So let's choose Porsche and go from there. Now that we have our completed test case, we want to take a look at the control flow diagram, see exactly what's happening, we're entering the vehicle data, then we're jumping to the insurance data screen, the product data, select the price, send the quote, get the quote response, and then restart the quote. To make it a little easier to see what's going on, let's split the screen. We do this by simply dragging a tab and putting it on one half of the screen. I can now see my test case. I would drag the test case and drop it on an empty folder in test case design. Once I've done this, Tosca automatically creates a test case design sheet for me with my happy path of values that I have entered in my test case. We can also see that in my test case, all of the hard-coded values have been removed and they are represented in the test case design sheet. If we look back at our test case, we will also see that Tosca has created a template and we have our first template instance, which is the template referring to the data sheet to create the test. I can now apply an algorithm to my test data sheet in order to generate multiple instances. In this case, we will use linear expansion. 
I could use all combinations, orthogonal, pairwise, but in this case, as I said, we'll choose linear expansion. Tosca generates variations of the data set here based on the different vehicle types. I can now go back to my template instance, reinstantiate it, and immediately I have tests built based on the template for all of the various vehicle types. I can now drag this template instance to my execution window and drop it. And immediately we see that I have 15 tests ready to execute. Instead of executing all of them, for the sake of time, I will select the first three and click Run. Now that our execution is completed, we can jump back into Tosca. We can see that our first three tests have executed correctly. We can also drill in to see every single step as it was executed, including our verification steps, all the way through. Thank you for watching today's demonstration. Feel free to contact us at tricentis.com.